Hi there, it's Mr. Chamberlain. I want to talk to you about lift pumps on mechanical injection systems on diesel engines, just so you get an idea how they work. I'm going to talk a little bit about the types and the function of them and the internal components. So first of all, this is a standard mechanical injection pump lift pump. This is what lifts the fuel up against the force of gravity and pushes it up to the injection pump like this one over here. So there's two sides of that lift pump. One is on the inside of the engine. There's a lever that rides on a cam lobe. That cam lobe has an eccentric, so it comes around and it compresses this lever back and forth as it goes by. The outside of the lift pump, you also have this mechanical lever, which you can actually mechanically make the pump move as if the cam does. So you can see how that works. If you're trying to prime the system, you may have to make sure that the cam lobe is on the low side of the cam. In other words, this lever, this lever is not being compressed. If this lever is compressed by the cam lobe, then you won't have any tension on this. So you can sense that I have tension on it by the sounds of the diaphragm inside. If I simply hold it down to compress it like the cam lobe, then I have no tension on it. It's just floppy. So if it feels floppy, then that means you need to bump the engine over. I like to use a starter button, bump it over until you feel that you have tension on this. Now you're actually going to be moving fuel with a lift pump. Let's look inside the pump. Okay, you have the standard parts. You have the actual lever that rides on the cam. You have your external lever. So when you move that back and forth, you can sense that it moves an internal diaphragm. And that diaphragm is collapsed as you move the lever or the cam moves it. Above that in the housing are two simple check valves. They're just rubber diaphragm style check valves. We call them a one-way check valve. So as you prime the lever, the diaphragm moves down, it compresses one check valve, fuel can't go out, and it creates a vacuum on the other side, so fuel gets pulled in. So basically what happens, the diaphragm moves up and down like this, and as it moves up, it pulls through one check valve from the tank, as it gets forced back down, then it pushes fuel out through this check valve. This valve only allows fuel in, so when we push the fuel down, it can't go back into the tank. It has to go out. As the diaphragm comes up, it creates a vacuum here. This valve out can't go back in, so you can't pull fuel back in. Problems with them can happen is debris can get into the check valves. If any debris gets into the check valve, it hangs the check valve open fuel can go out back and forth back and forth and you can't prime the system or the engine won't run so if that's the problem you simply take the outlet side fuel line off from the lift pump try to operate it if you can't get any fuel out of it this is probably the problem either that or you don't have any fuel in the tank okay now there's three different types of injection lift pumps and the first type is this standard mechanical lever system all right that's mounted on the engine before the injection pump. Another type, which is right over here, okay, is actually mounted on the pump. And this is just a primer kind of push type of lift pump that's bolted onto it. So this basically has two check valves, one here and here inside the pump. Some of these you have to unscrew the lever and let it pop up it as a spring. And then you do the priming and then you push it down and you tighten it back up. Some of them are like this where they're just sitting there. So this is what you would actually move back and forth to prime the system. Third type of system basically is right on the secondary fuel filter. It's a primer ball, it looks like a little button, and that's a primer ball that pulls fuel up into this and into the secondary filter. And there will be a bleed fitting to bleed the system. So this is where you would start bleeding the system, actually bleed the air out. So you would loosen this fitting, prime this until fuel came out, tighten that back up, and then move on to your injection pump and bleed it from there. Okay? So, I hope that explains a little bit more about how a mechanical lift pump works on a diesel engine. Until next time.